Today we are going to freeze dry frozen mixed vegetables. Hi, I'm Jonathan, the Provident Prepper. We are going to take two pound bags of mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables, and put these on these trays. We don't want to overload the trays, so we're just going to see about what they'll take here. And it's looking like we might just be able to get one bag on one tray. This is perhaps the easiest thing we've freeze dried because all we had to do is cut the bags open, pour them on the trays and spread them out evenly. So this should just work out really well. Now these are already pre-frozen so that'll help the process go faster. We're excited to see the outcome. These are freeze dried vegetables. This took 1784 minutes and used 17.14 kilowatt hours. Okay, these were just frozen mixed vegetables. We just took them out. They're nice and dry. Definitely don't want to snack on that one. Like, don't want to snack on that one. Okay, let me try a pea. Peas are fine. A little better. The carrot's delicious. Wow. It's just so, so dry. What do you think? And they've, they've lost their bright, vibrant color. Usually they're a, a bright green, orange. Yeah, I it's, mean. It's all faded to kind of uh, yeah, they a dull have, haven't they? color. So maybe when we rehydrate, that color will come back. But, oh, it looks like it is. I mean, almost immediately. Yeah. Yeah, much. color is coming back. Much brighter, much prettier. This is a total of eight pounds of frozen vegetables and we're going to package them and see how many quart size bags we're going to get but then we always want to make sure we've got one in here too so let's get packing and for our recipe using the mixed vegetables you could do so much right you could just heat them up and eat them plain um, you could use them in a soup but our favorite is the fried rice so i think today we're going to make some fried rice so john why don't you put the extra that's in there in some hot water and we'll get cooking so those four trays of vegetables yielded four quart bags plus a pint bag and this bottle and then some for us to taste and for our fried rice. So that's pretty good. Now, each one of those bags was about 250. They were two, two pound bags. Mm -hmm. So cost wise, that's, that's really good. Um, now the vegetables, it's, it's a lot brighter. Remember how before it, we said it was really dull when it was first freeze dried? It's pretty bright now. It looks really good. So we'll see. And remember, these haven't been cooked yet. They were just frozen and put on the tray. So. Okay. Kind of chewy. Not fully but hydrated yet. They haven't been cooked, so it'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. what they're like when, when they've cooked. But they, they look beautiful. The flavor's there. I think it's the green beans. Well, I think in the carrots are maybe taking a little longer to hydrate also. Mm. Maybe. Anyway, they're beautiful. Would I do this for my long-term food storage? Absolutely. Believe it or not, this is all that it takes to make just incredible fried rice. I'm going to make this vegetarian style, but you absolutely could add some ham chunks to this or any other kind of meat actually, but we like to do the vegetarian style. We have chickens, so we always have fresh eggs. If we did not have fresh eggs, you could absolutely use freeze dried raw eggs, right? And cook them up. But um, the fresh eggs work really well. I don't add salt to these because um, I'm using soy sauce. And so there's just a lot of salt in that soy sauce. The vegetables have been busy reconstituting, so they actually look really good. Just gonna cook these eggs first and set them aside. Okay, just a little bit of olive oil. This pan is nice and hot. 
The rice is already cooked. Just put it in my little rice pot. That is something that I think everyone should have, a really nice rice pot. And my goal here in doing this first is I'm wanting to separate the kernels of rice, right? So that each one of these is, is nice and separate because it's already hot. Once it looks like these are doing a good job of separating, then I'll add these back in here. I don't want to add any extra water, but it looks like these did a pretty good job of hydrating. Remember, we freeze dried these vegetables frozen, so they actually weren't cooked. And normally, if I was making this um, with frozen vegetables, I would allow enough time in this process for the vegetables to be cooked and kind of heated through. If you were going to add ham, some cubed ham, this would be the time that you should do that. And you could actually use chicken or anything else and you don't have to use the eggs, especially if you're using some kind of a meat. It's just a protein that, because we have chickens, it's free and we love to eat the eggs. Okay, so now, just to add the eggs. I'm just gonna kind of lightly go through here. Now, believe it or not, the only spice, I'm not adding any salt to this. Well, okay, that's not true because I did put a little bit of salt in the rice before I steamed it. But pretty much the only spice that you have on this is the soy sauce. And soy sauce has pretty much an indefinite shelf life. So you can use as much or as little as you like to use. For me, I actually like to go a little bit heavy on it and I can usually tell by the color whether or not I've achieved what I was going for. Really cool thing about fried rice is you can do it any way you want. More vegetables, less vegetables, lots of meat, no meat. It's just kind of a fun way to be able to Use your food storage and make delicious meals for your family. So now for the real test, we're seeing if we tell, can tell the difference between uh, the vegetables in the normal fried rice or the uh, vegetables that have been freeze dried. I can't taste. Any yeah. difference? It's the same to me as the frozen vegetables that we use in the fried rice. So this is great. So we ended yep. up with all these these four quart bags of freeze dried vegetables, as well as a pint bag and a pint jar, and some great chow. And these are going to last for 25 years. Have a great shelf life. Good choice. And now for the question of the day: What is your favorite eat recipe to use using mixed vegetables? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.